Have you ever heard a nation without vision will perish? What do you think happens to a small business? A business without vision will definitely perish. So often we hear the stats, 86% of small business in America fail within the first two years. Of those, half of those don't even make it five years. Less than 7% ever get to a million dollars a year. So you hear all these great things, but I find that most entrepreneurs, they live in a place called Busyville. You probably know about Busyville, right? You ever call your friends, what are you doing? I'm busy. Busy doing what? I have no idea, but I'm busy. You see the next stop on the train for entrepreneurs, it's called Brokeville. You've probably seen that too. Now your friends are busy and they're broke. And it doesn't mean they're broke financially, it could be business-wise, it could be health-wise, relationship-wise. But the final stop on the train that kills most entrepreneurs is called Burnoutville. Now, if you want to avoid those, I'm gonna give you some really cool ideas to help make that happen. But I know for a fact it's tough. I see entrepreneurs have a good idea, have a good concept, but they don't really understand what it takes to win really big. And they get stuck in that place. And they usually quit right before that big adjustment, that big opportunity. But if you want to avoid some of those things, think this through for a second. Start with a big vision. Start by understanding a simple term called vision-driven leadership. And what that really means is that for me, when I was going through challenges in my life, I got to a certain point, I felt burnt out. If you can relate to that, I'm sure you can. It's like you say, what's next? What am I doing right or wrong? So I had to check out, because sometimes you gotta check out to check back in. It took me two years to check out, to figure out what was the real answer. And I realized, what was I great at? What was I passionate about? What served a lot of people? Was there money in the industry? And if I could do that, and if you can answer those same questions for yourself, you're gonna find your greatest success story starts with going inside before you go outside. And start with that big vision. Start with a vision so big that it scares you. And that's what I did. I began to realize what does it play to be at the top, top, top level. And I began to visualize what it looked like. And I wrote that vision down. And to inspire that on top of that, it wasn't motivation. Because I tell you, when you motivate idiots, all you have is motivated idiots. There's so much more inside. But when you have a vision so big, it pulls you. It pulls you outside that comfort zone. And that's where the magic steps into place. But even once you have the vision, you gotta be great at what you do. You gotta serve really well. You gotta create value in the marketplace. And value, what does that mean? That means you're providing so much value to their customers, they think you're nuts. Because wherever you're at today, it's from the last two years of your life. But if you really want things to elevate for you, you start with that vision so big, you get tied into the vision, you understand the powerful word behind that is called the mission. It's not the money. If you chase the money, you'll stay broke. But if you really focus on a vision so big that it pulls you outside the comfort zone, all of a sudden you start to feel empowered every day. You no longer need motivation. You're inspired every day. And that inspiration comes from the inside, not the outside. It comes from the fact that you know you've got really big things to do, and you know for a fact that our time here on this planet, it's limited. But when you stop chasing the money and you build a mission around serving clients, and that's what you measure every day, if the visions have become the number one speaker, number one realtor, number one this, or top 10 this, or top 10 that, think about it and write it down. How many clients do you have to serve? And then start to bring in a program around how many clients we've got to serve each year, each quarter, each month. See, when I start to watch entrepreneurs that they step outside that comfort zone, people think you're crazy. I know when you start a business, oh, that's never gonna work. You're dumb, that's not gonna work. You're not gonna make it. You better keep that job. I don't ever say quit your jobs. I say build a side hustle that's built around your dream because I promise you this, when you work part-time on your dreams, they'll work full-time on you. And all of a sudden, yes, your friends will think you're crazy. You know it's the crazy ones that make all the money. No doubt your family will think you're nuts. But if you're feeling that today, that probably means you're in the right place. And if you're thinking about that today, then you know you're in the right place. And all of a sudden what starts to happen, you begin to step into something called momentum. And momentum is when the vision lines up with your daily method of operation. And all of a sudden it starts to look easy for you. You get into something called the flow. It's becoming what's called an intuitive performer. So when you think about leadership, don't just think about being a great leader, be a leader that's driven by something much larger, path and purpose and a vision so powerful that all of a sudden you wake every day inspired. You hate to go to sleep because you know you have big things to do. 
And when you start to live that way, all of a sudden what starts to happen is you look all the results you focused on building, they start to happen without going outside of your, you're feeling like you're so busy, you feel like you're in the flow. And of course, when you take it up one more notch, it's the legacy. And when you start to think legacy versus just making money, your vision, all of a sudden you start to realize that your gift was always in you. You're looking for it somewhere else, but it comes from within. When you start to build those perfect days and you become the expert in your niche and you have the right systems and the right tools and the right process and you become a better communicator and you really understand execution. I put this on a post not long ago and I talked about you got to think and I really do mean think like a general, work like a soldier. And that's where the magic comes from. When you start to achieve your biggest goals and dreams, that vision driven leader inside of you comes out, but it comes out naturally. It's not about pushing people. It's not about trying to impress anybody. It's about living life on your terms, having your own success plan and stepping into it in a flow space where once again, it becomes natural for you. So if you're ready to have even more in your life, you're ready to have even more fun, go in the inside first. Create a vision so powerful that it pulls you outside your comfort zone. And of course, when you're doing this, have some fun along the way. And remember these three very simple things, family, faith, and fun. When you can put those into your process first around your annual planning, the business becomes something that you naturally flow into and you'll have the greatest success story ever.